Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about NordVPN. Now before I start talking about NordVPN and showing you how to set it up, I need to make it clear that I am not sponsored by NordVPN. This is a completely neutral, unbiased review of the product. Um, I've been a loyal customer of NordVPN for uh, about three years now. And during that time, I've found this VPN to be very reliable and the customer support is great. Whenever you've got a question, you can just email them and they get back to you within less than 24 hours. That's been my experience so far. Um, so let's go ahead and um, see how um, this application works. So as you probably already know, VPN is a virtual private network. It um, basically creates a secret tunnel, if you want to put it that way. Um, so your traffic over the public internet is encrypted no man in the middle attacks and you can access vpn servers that are located across the world there are many countries that NordVPN has got agreements with um internet service providers and sometimes they run their own vpn service as well so let's say for example i'm currently in australia and let's say for example that i want to watch um a tv show or access a program that's only restricted to uh people who live in the United Kingdom, I could simply uh, use NordVPN to um, connect to a VPN server in in the UK and then access those applications or programs. Now, um, when you go to nordvpn.com, this is the home page that you come up with. As you can see here, it'll tell you that your public IP address, which is provided to you by your internet service provider, um, and it says your status is unprotected, obviously, because when you um, have a basic internet connection, um, like in your office or in your home, uh, without a VPN, which means your activity is visible to your internet service provider. So one other uh, advantage of um, using a VPN is that your um, activity of the internet is um, not monitored by your ISP or cannot be monitored by your ISP. So now, when you go to NordVPN.com, you will see uh, these tabs in here. So if you go to pricing, you will see the plans that are um, available here. Um, I've got a link that has been provided to me by um, NordVPN, which I'll put in the YouTube description box below, which will give you three extra months on top of what's uh, already here. So if you decide to sign up, make sure that you use that code in the YouTube um, description box below. So price-wise, it's very competitive. Um, the most popular one is uh, the plus plan. Obviously, it comes with additional features. As you can see, now they have introduced a new eSIM product called Sally. Uh, I have not used this. This has come out just very recently. This is basically an eSIM. So if you're traveling overseas, um, you will get, um, starting from one gigabyte, you will get up to 10 gigs of free um, eSIM e e e data uh, on your mobile phone, provided that your, your mobile phone supports eSIMs. Nowadays, most um, phones um, do support eSIM. In terms of the speed, I've been very happy with their speed. It's almost up there with the direct um, uplink and downlink speeds provided to me by my ISP. So going through the NordVPN doesn't really affect the speed of my internet connections. Now, you can do um, connect up to 10 devices at once. So this could be your uh, MacBook, your Windows computer, your um, Android phone, your iOS. They have they have applications in App Store um, and Play Store for your mobile devices as well. It protects you from malware as well when you're surfing the internet. Let's say that you're going to a, an undesirable uh, website. It will um, block any unwanted um, advertisements, spyware and malware uh, from uh, your uh, web session as well. Now you've got a password manager. I have to uh, let you know that I do not use this feature because I've got my own password manager that I use, but you can um, get this a password manager as well. Bear in mind that with basic you don't get um, from malware protection down you do not get those services in the basic one so I think 
the plus version or the plus uh, subscription is probably the best um, out of all. Um, and obviously, if you sign up for two years, the longer you sign up, the, the cheaper your monthly um, rental or your monthly fees are going to be. So um, in order to um, sign up, you just go to pricing, select the plan that you like, you go click get plus and you basically put your details in um, if you've got a coupon in this case you can use my coupon in here which you will be eligible for three extra months on top of the two-year plan that you're getting you just basically fill your information select the payment method and you pay and you're good to go so once you've signed up for um, node VPN subscription the next thing to do is download the VPN application to your computer now you you have the option to download it to your windows computer mac or is all linux um, as i mentioned earlier it can be downloaded on your um, mobile devices as well android and ios and they come up with extensions as well for chrome firefox and edge so in this uh, sort of demo or review um, i'm going to just click windows and um, I've already bought, I've already got a subscription, so I don't have to do anything here. So just simply click download app and it will download the application to your um, computer. So once it's downloaded, simply double click on it, go next, 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 install the application, you're good to go. I have already done this, so I'm not going to go through the installation part, but if you've got any questions about it, please put it in the YouTube comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. So once you have um, downloaded NodeVPN uh, application, it will create a shortcut on your desktop like this. So just double click on it to open NodeVPN application. Now, when you do this for the very first time, it will ask you to log in using your username and password. I recommend that you set up two-factor authentication as well. That will add an additional layer of security. So let me just expand my window. So when you're uh, in the home page, um, which is the home tab that's in here, um, you can click quick connect. It will connect to the fastest and the nearest uh, VPN within your geographical location. But let's say that you want to connect to a different um, country. You can simply type the country and it will uh, show you if there's a, a VPN service in that or VPN server in that particular country. So let's say I want to connect to United kingdom so as i start typing the word united as you can see i've got uh, a resolve for united kingdom and they've got four cities uh, available so if i click on that it's gonna connect me to united kingdom so right now i'm connected to the united kingdom vpn so um what you can do is you can just go through the list of countries as well. It will tell you the cities as well if you want to know more about the specific locations. Um, so in the UK, you've got Edinburgh, Glasgow, uh, London, and Manchester. So you can look up any country. Bear in mind that you don't see a full list of countries there. Some countries do not uh, allow VPN servers to be um, running on their on their um, land, on their geographies. So, for example, India, uh, they, they um, banned NordVPN. So if you want to connect to um, a VPN in India, unfortunately, NordVPN is not the one. Um, so if I go in here, uh, this is going to show you a graphical view or a, or a map view of where you're connected. You can simply zoom in and just click on um, any of these blue dots and it'll um, connect you to any of the uh, available VPN servers over there as well. So instead of going um, through here um, from searching in here for a particular country or a city, you can go to this world map view and then just click on any any country um, and then you'll be just connecting to um, a server over there. So next up uh, is this one, threat protection. Um, 
obviously um, it comes with um, plus and above. So if you sign up for basic version, you will not get this feature, but make sure that you keep these settings turned on so it will provide you an additional layer of security. Um, file protection, this is a feature that will uh, assist you with um, your protecting your files. Um, I'm not using this particular feature, um, but feel free to um, browse through the, uh, the settings and enable them if they're important to you. But I highly recommend that you enable web protection and vulnerability detection. Um, let me go to this one, the file transfer. So this is if you have a mesh net um, that you've got set up. This is one of the reasons that why I haven't turned on um, file protection features, some of them in my previous um, setting, because I'm not using MeshNet or uh, transferring file securely or uh, privately over peer-to-peer -peer connections. But if this is something that, that you're interested in and you want to know more about this feature, put a comment in the dis uh, in the YouTube um, comments below and I'll answer your questions. Now, this icon is for uh, MeshNet, so I'm not going to click on it because I'm not using that feature. Um, so let's go to the dark web monitor. Now make sure that dark web monitor is turned on. This is going to um, look for your email um, in the dark web to see if your email has been compromised. So as you can see in here that um, you can see I've got my email here and it says no leaks. So which is good, which is what we need to see. Um, and let's go to this one here. This is cloud storage. Um, this is another service that's provided by Node uh, VPN called Node Locker um, that also um, lets you um, store your data. Uh, in case you're interested, you can use that cloud um, storage feature as well. Now, I just want to quickly talk about the settings. Uh, so this is... Um, all the settings that are available to you. So at the moment, I'm running the latest version of the software. This is the, the, the version. Obviously, they um, post regular updates to the software and the updates usually get automatically updated, so you don't have to do anything manually there. So let's go to general settings. Um, now, you can launch the app at the Windows Startup. That's I've set it up to on. Um, now, launch the app minimize to system tray. Uh, depending on your um, preferences, you can enable or disable that. Obviously, these are important to show VPN connection status. Um, if you're using MeshNet file sharing, then obviously it's going to show you uh, that option as well. So appearance, you can go um, light or dark or the system. I've set it to system language. You can select whichever language that you're comfortable with. Um, and obviously make sure that the background processes uh, are turned on because this needs to run um, prop to uh, for the application to function properly. Um, if I go back to settings and connection. Now, in here, VPN protocol, leave it to auto. Um, it's going to select the best VPN protocol um, that's um, going to work in your scenario. So uh, I don't recommend that you fiddle with them, but if you want, you can just uh, select a specific VPN protocol as well. Um, now, auto connect. I've set it to never, but uh, NordVPN recommends that you set it to um, on all networks. So, regardless of the network type, whether you're on a Wi Fi network, wired network, or you're on a mobile network, it's simply going to connect. I like to connect manually depending on my requirements, depending on which um, VPN server that I want to connect to in which country. Um, I do it manually, but if you want to, uh, on the program to just connect to the VPN automatically all the time uh, whenever you start your computer and connect it to internet can connect to internet um, feel free to uh, select on all networks and that's the recommended um, option by by um, NordVPN. Now in here um, you can define trusted networks so for example um, this is my home network so I have um, trusted that network so if I had auto connect enabled and defined a trusted network when I connected the trusted network it will not auto connect unless you manually choose to connect to the VPN so that's that setting. Um, and obviously you've got other um, bunch of settings that for a standard user, it's probably not going to um, 
be required of setting up. If you want your uh, um, VPN connections or the, the, the connections that you establish through the VPN to use custom DNS queries, you can set up custom DNS servers as well. Um, but that's uh, for most of us, that's that's not required. Um, let NodeVPN select the DNS servers that they use during your um, sessions. Now you can stay invisible on LAN if you like. I don't use that feature because um, yeah, I don't have to. But if that's something that you want to do, you can just turn on this feature as well. Um, and you can just um, turn on this feature as well. Some people might find this useful. Allow remote access while connected to the VPN, so it will let you connect to the to the um, to the um, remote desktop apps, for example. Um, it, Whilst it's connected to the VPN, if you if you enable this feature, um, now kill switch, uh, another important feature. This one um, it disables uh, internet access when a VPN drops um, unexpectedly. Uh, you can turn this on um, if that's important to you. Um, same with the um, apps. So with Node VPN. Um, you can select specific applications to use the VPN and other applications to go directly to the internet through your ISP's connection. So um, play around with it, play around with if that's um, something that you want to uh, explore, but I don't use um, these features um, as of right now. Now split tunneling, um, when it comes to VPN, I'll just quickly explain what this means. Um, there's two kinds of VPN tunneling. When it comes to um, VPN, you've got forced tunneling, which means all the traffic, um, regardless of their destination, they go through the VPN tunnel. And that will use more bandwidth compared to split tunneling. So split tunneling is, it will split the traffic, certain traffic destined to specific services, applications, or destinations will go through the VPN tunnel, while just generic internet traffic would go directly um, via your internet service provider's connections over the public internet. So um, for most people, once again, you wouldn't need this, but you have the option to enable split tunneling and define certain applications. If you want certain applications or programs to use the VPN uh, and whilst other um, applications or general internet surfing or internet access and just to go through the, the standard public internet. If you've got any questions around split tunneling, um, put your um, questions in the comments below. Um, and the rest is actually... Uh, not that difficult to understand. They're very um, basic and pretty, um, you know, straightforward. Um, so I'm not going to go into detail about the rest of the, the settings in here. Um, and um, I think I've talked enough about uh, NodeVPN in general in this video. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, but if you guys got any questions, feel free to put your questions in the comments below. Um, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider subscribing um, and help me get to 1,000 subscribers. Once again, I've got a uh, NodeVPN coupon in the YouTube description box below. Feel free to use that to get three additional months on top of what NodeVPN gives you when you sign up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.